What's up everybody? This is Casey Buckner here with the Buckner Group here with Whiteboard Wednesday. So this is the very first episode. We wanted to take topics every week on Wednesday. Here's the whiteboard. Go over them with you, discuss, mostly do with real estate, kind of what they mean, you know, two to four minutes. Not take up too much of your time, but show you what something means, what different things mean. So first Whiteboard Wednesday, we are talking about representation. Side note, I don't have the best handwriting and I may misspell a word, but it's fine. You know what I mean? So representation. So when a house is for sale, there's the big for sale sign in the yard. The house is for sale. It is listed by what is called the listing agent and he represents the sellers. So the sellers who live in the house. There you go. Then you have the selling agent or the buyer's agent, and they that's the and they, the buyer's agent, represents the buyers in the transaction. Now, what a lot of people do is when they are driving along, they see the number and they call the number to talk to an agent to buy the house or, or to see the house. But what they don't know is a lot of time, or every time, this phone number is the listing agent's phone number. Now the listing agent has an agreement with the sellers that they are selling their house. They are what's called a fiduciary responsibility. It just means they have the seller's best interest in mind. So you call that number, but you're actually speaking to the listing agent. What you want is your own buyer's agent, your own agent that's going to represent you in the transaction and has your best interest in mind. A uh, little side fact, most of the time, if you have hire your own buyer's agent, the listing agent is actually paying them. They're actually splitting some of their commission with them. So it actually doesn't even cost you anything most of the time. There are some situations that may vary. Doesn't even cost you most of the time to have your own buyer's agent. Again, some people think if they call the number, they're going to they're gonna save money by using the listing agent. But it may save the sellers maybe a little bit of money, but it's not going to save you anything and again, the listing agent has the seller's best interest in mind. You want your own buyer's agent to have your best interest in mind uh, when you're buying a house. And again, a lot of time doesn't even cost you anything. You have your own representation. So in the real estate world, that's how representation works. You have the listing agent. He represents the sellers. The selling or the buyer's agent represents the buyers. And we all work together to help make the deal happen. So everybody, you know, they're, they're represented their best interest, and as the buyer's agent, we would represent your best interest if we want to go put the offer in for sale. So this is the first Whiteboard Wednesday representation. Hope you all enjoyed it. We'll see you again next week.